Welcome back to Better Than Healthy. Today we're going to be talking about cassia essential oil and the top 10 uses for this oil. There are so many. This is a powerful oil. You're going to get some really good ideas. So cassia is derived from the bark of the cassia plant. It's a type of cinnamon. It's the cinnamon family. And it's been used in traditional medicines, in aromatherapy, for a, for a variety of purposes. So many ways. So here are the top 10. Number one, a digestive support. Cassia oil can be used to support if you, cassia can be used as a powerful support if you have air pockets in your gut, if you are, if your stomach is expanded, if you, if you're having challenges with your digestive system, it is really great for any challenges with your gut. The second thing is a circulatory support. Cassia is known to help support circulation, which can provide relief from joint and muscle irritation. And when it's diluted, you can apply it topically. You can also put it in a glass of water and drink it. You can put it on the bottoms of your feet. It is considered a hot oil, so be careful. You don't wanna put it directly on your skin. That's called NEAT, N-E-A-T. What you wanna do is use uh, coconut oil. I like fractionated coconut oil because you regular coconut oil at room temperature is hard. It's kind of hard like a bar of soap. But if it's fractionated coconut oil, then what happens is they have taken the molecular structure and they've pulled the molecules apart. They haven't taken anything out. They haven't added anything in, at least with doTERRA's. So it's completely natural and it, people call it a diluter. It doesn't really dilute the oil. The power of the oil is the same, but the, but the coconut oil makes it feel like it's diluted so that you can put it right on with the coconut oil. And they call it, a, they call it coconut oil a carrier oil. Cassia is awesome for unwanted microorganisms in the body, on the body. It has been shown to have these properties, which makes it useful for any of these types of things, whether it's inside the body or out. The fourth one is a mood enhancer. When you use it in aromatherapy, cassia essential oil can have uplifting effects. It's a support for feelings of deep sadness or if you are not motivated and you feel like you're having a hard time wanting to do anything. Number five, cassia oil can be used as a support for help in toning and tightening tissues. It's beneficial for skin care. And when it's used appropriately, you can use it on your skin. Just like I talked about the just like I talked about using the carrier oil because you don't want it to be uncomfortable. Number six is respiratory. Cassia oil is powerful for the respiratory system. When there are challenges with your respiratory system, if anything is irritated or enlarged, cassia is an, is an awesome oil to go to. The seventh one is it is great for irritation. Just like we talked about in the respiratory system, cassia essential oil provides, cassia essential oil is a support for any area of the body that is irritated. It will soothe those areas and create powerful support. The eighth one is a warming sensation. This might not seem like it matters that much, but cassia essential oil provides a warming sensation when it's applied to the skin and it makes it a popular oil for a massage or if there's a colder climate or to relieve if you feel like you're cold in your extremities, it's a great oil for that. Or think about this. My husband was having some challenges with his back. So he went to, um, he went and got a massage today. A lot of times we'll use a heating pad. Well, you can use cassia essential oil. It's wonderful, but just have your carrier oil ready. If it feels a little too uncomfortable, you can add carrier oil and it soothes it right off. Number nine, you're gonna love this one. It's an aphrodisiac. Traditionally, cassia oil has been used as an aphrodisiac to boost libido. So if you're wanting some support there. And number 10, this is a little outside the box, but a flavoring agent. It's a really yummy taste. It's really potent, so you don't need very many drops, but it can be used as a flavor. Um, it's really potent, so you don't need very many drops, but it can be used as a flavoring agent in food, in beverages. Just make sure you use it sparingly. Better to add a little, taste it, and make sure you still want more. My husband made spaghetti sauce. He was making homemade spaghetti sauce and he used the oregano oil. And doTERRA's is very potent because it's the highest quality. So he was trying to call me, actually. I was traveling internationally. He was trying to call me to find out about how many drops I, he should use. And I've done this before, so I knew like a fraction of one drop. Well, he didn't get a hold of me because I was in the middle of training. And he used four drops of oregano essential oil. And when we finally did get to talk, he told me, <laughs> he said, and we don't 
don't like to waste things. So he here he's got this whole batch of red spaghetti sauce that tastes like oregano. It is so strong, it's unbelievable. So I said, oh no. I said, did you split it up and try to take a little bit and add more tomato sauce? He said, yes. I did it several different times. He split it, he kept adding more tomato sauce. It's still, it was way too strong. He said it was probably enough for 10 dinners of spaghetti sauce and he had to throw it away. It was so sad. It's really potent, which means it lasts a really long, long time. So that's awesome too. And I want you to try these different ways of using cassia. Let me know what you think. Would love to hear back because I don't want you to just be healthy. I want you to be better than healthy.